Hey guys, welcome to my Not Tracker Dummy. In today's video, I'm going to be washing my hair after two months of neglecting it. So I've been wearing this struggle ponytail for the past two days. Or has it been three? I don't even remember. If you watch my last video, you'll you'll see or know or have an understanding as to what happened that led me to just completely neglect my hair. I'm just gonna take it out this ponytail so that you guys have an idea of what we're working with today. But when I tell you guys my hair feels so dang dry, it's like every time I, I touch my hair too hard or yank at it a little bit too hard, I just be hearing stuff break in there. I look a hot mess. <laughs> I look a hot mess. Oh my God, you know what's sad? It's like, if somebody's coming across this video for the first time, this will be their first impression of me. There is hair all over my face. This will be your first impression of me and this is not a good way to impress somebody. I look like a, a, a cat woman. No offense to all the people that own cats but I look crazy. So I'm just gonna part my hair into eight different sections and I'm gonna start washing my hair. These are the two products I'll be using on my hair today. This is the Camille Rose Cleansing Rinse and they have a, a bunch of conditioners but I picked this one out because it smelled really nice. I think I might do my little Bantu knots instead of the twist. I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair in twist anymore. If I wash my hair in twist, then I'm not really gonna get to the roots. So I'm gonna leave my hair in Bantu knots. That way I can just let it out while I'm in the shower. All right guys, so I went ahead and changed the color of my tank top. I changed it to white because I feel like that would have been easier for you guys to see my hair. I don't know, for some reason, every time I watch people's wash day videos and they have a black shirt on, can't really see that hair. So I was like, let me just go put on a white tank top. That way it'd be easier for you guys to see my hair and uh, the damage that I caused to it. But anyways, I got this tangle, te well, I don't even know what this is. This would, would this be considered a tangle teaser? I'm not gonna brush my hair with it. I'm just gonna massage my little scalp and get all that gunk off of it because I don't need it to be there. So I'm gonna use that. And I already showed you guys the products I'm gonna be using on my hair. Just these two. All right, so I started off by rinsing out all the old product that was sitting on my hair. I rinsed my hair with really, really hot water before applying the cleansing rinse on it. As I was applying the cleansing rinse, I realized that it didn't really have as much foam or suds as a regular shampoo would have, but I was kind of expecting that because it's not, it's not really a shampoo, it's a cleansing rinse. But when I started washing the other side of my head, I started putting more of the product on it and it started becoming a bit more foamy. Other than that, I really like the cleansing rinse. It made it very easy for me to glide my fingers through my hair and finger detangle it because you guys know I don't use combs on my hair at all. So it made it very easy to finger detangle it. And you guys can see here that my hair looks kind of defined. You know, I don't really go for definition, but I was actually pleasantly surprised to see that it was actually defined. Anyways, I went ahead and rinsed out all of the shampoo or cleansing rinse out of my hair. I ended up washing each section of my hair one time, except for two sections in the back of my head. That is the coarsest of all the sections on my hair. I washed those sections twice just to make sure that nothing, no gunk or no debris or sand or pool water was left in there. So those were the only two sections that I washed twice. But other than that, every, every single other section got washed once with the cleansing rinse. Also, one thing that helped increase the amount of suds from the shampoo or cleansing rinse was using this tangle teaser or whatever it's called. Um, it really helped with increasing the amount of suds that came out of the cleansing rinse, and I appreciate that. The more suds that came out of it, the easier it was for me to glide my fingers through my hair. And one very last thing before I let you guys watch in peace, if you guys look behind me towards the left side of the wall, you guys will see hair accumulating on the wall. Usually when I do my hair, I like to just stick my hair on the wall that way it doesn't fall down my drain and clog it up so that's why there's hair on the wall and it's coming out of my head not anywhere else
all right guys so this is the section that i was talking about earlier the section that i had to wash twice because this section right here this is the coarsest part of my hair it just holds on to product like sugar on concrete it really does not let up so i had to wash this part multiple times and after washing it with the rinse for the second time i didn't feel the need to wash it again a third time which is why i only wash it twice Alright guys, so I've just finished washing my hair with the sweet ginger rinse. Honestly, my hair feels very, very nice. I was honestly using it so that it would strip my hair, but it didn't strip my hair to the point where it became squeaky clean. To my surprise, it cleaned my hair very well, in my opinion. If you guys look off to the side right here, let me move the camera a little bit. This is all the hair that I've lost so far. I usually just stick it to the wall, that way they don't go down my drain. And it's been working for me these past couple years, so if you're... Should I take it off? Well, I might as well. I apologize if you're disgusted by something like this. But it's actually very helpful. So, this is the total amount of hair that I lost while washing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose a little bit more hair while I'm conditioning. kind of smells a little citrusy and I don't I don't like the smell of citrus but other than the fact that I didn't like the smell I didn't really think that there was anything special about this conditioner honestly I think there's better conditioners out there I don't think this is one of the best this conditioner was $11 I don't really think it was worth $11 in my own opinion I really don't but if I had to wash my hair and I had no other conditioners I wouldn't mind using it I'm not really a big fan of the smell I don't really think it's like one of the best conditioners out there, honestly. I probably wouldn't buy this conditioner again. Not to say that I had a terrible experience with it, it's just not one of the best things I've ever tried. Alright guys, so I went ahead and left the conditioner in my hair for overnight, so it was about 20 hours. I finished washing my hair yesterday around 4, then I went to sleep and took, washed it out of my hair around 9 in the morning. I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my hair with the Palmer's Olive Oil Girl Therapy that I always use and TGIN Daily Moisturizer. Alright, so this is how my hair is looking like with no product. Well, it has a little bit of a conditioner in it, just a tad but but mostly no product here's how far it shrinks this is how far my hair stretches out all right so if you're not familiar with the way i moisturize my hair i usually part my hair into two if the section is really really big and i start off with the tgi and daily moisturizer and after i apply the moisturizer to both sections of my hair that i parted i then put them together and add the Palmer's Olive Oil Growth Therapy. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit heavy-handed when it comes to product, which is why after 
I fully braid the section. You guys will see all that product residue sitting on top of my hair. I usually like to over moisturize my hair. That way I don't have to moisturize it or re-moisturize it for a while. Um, whenever I do this, I don't have to moisturize my hair for two to three weeks before I have to re-moisturize it. I hope that made sense. All right, so this is the amount of hair I lost while washing and conditioning my hair. It was wet yesterday, then I forgot to record it. But yeah, now it's shrunk up. Alright guys, so this is how my hair is looking. I'm actually planning on doing uh, another style with my hair for the next month before I start my hair growth challenge for the summer. I'm still debating on if I want to do twists or braids, but anyways, this is how my hair is looking. This is how much hair I lost while braiding and moisturizing. And this is how much hair I lost while washing and conditioning yesterday. And that's how much hair I lost all together. To me, it's not that much hair, honestly. My hair still feels fine and thick. But this is what happens when you neglect your hair for two months. You lose all this hair. It's whatever though, it'll grow back, hopefully. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding anything that I said throughout this video, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Um, yeah, today, the products that I used today were the first time I ever used them. And would I use them again? Yes. I'd probably definitely use the shampoo again. The conditioner, I feel like, it's not terrible. I let it sit in my hair for overnight. Do I think it's worth $11? Because I think that's how much it was. No. I don't think it's worth $11, but... It, it got the job done. I think I could find something better. But if there are ever an occasion where I didn't have another conditioner to condition my hair with, I probably have no problem or no issue using that conditioner. I don't think it's terrible. I just think there are better options out there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.